All right, everybody, it's uh, Wardrobe here. So we're gonna play a um, scenario out of It Never Snows called The Guards. And I believe this is one that was out of the uh, one of the magazines. Um, so basically, um, I'll show the map here. Oh, that light will be fun for this whole battle report thing. This is just kind of an intro. Um, so it's been a long time since I played SCS. It's pretty straightforward, just the special rules that are something to think about. But this is the guard scenario, so it's only six turns. We're only using one map, so this is you know, one of five, I believe, maps. So otherwise you go all the way to the end of the table and group off the edge. Um, my thinking is you could you know, set up a table over here and then play what you need to play and then take the table down and just as the game moves up. But basically, here's the deal. Um, I'll just read this out. The scenario covers the initial breakout by the Guards Armored Division and their attempt to meet up where, with the 101st Airborne Division. Boop. Up there. In Eindhoven. Boop. There. Uh, Garden was the ground segment of the overall operation intended to exploit the capture of a bridge across the Maas Scheldt Canal on September 10th, just south of Map E. The line was held by various German units and was to be shattered by a large artillery barrage and breached by the Irish guards. The timetable was upset early on by stubborn resistance along the road and through Volkenswald and Ulst. Nope. Yeah, there. So, oh, that's a tiny little town there in Volkenswald. And progress was further delayed because of the blown Son Bridge. It was truly to be a bridge to fall. Anyway, no Son. Now, I, if you go back in some of my videos, I've done bolt action and battle group, at least a battle of Son. So go check that out. Um, and I should maybe find the link to that. Um, so uh, 30 core. Oh, and so, so there's it. Let me. Sorry, let me tell you the victory conditions here real quick. So, the ally player wins if he or she achieves one of the following at the end of the scenario. In both cases, the guard's units cannot have more than three from any of their units destroyed. So there's the Irish, the Grins, the Cold, etc. I assume each of those can't lose more than three. So if any of them does that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So you get a major victory if the allies control all the hexes among there. So the seven hexes kind of circled here. And all the guard units get off. So all the pink salmon colored ones, I'm going to say. The brown ones, I don't think have matter. matter. That's a major victory. A minor victory is if the Irish and, uh, Irish and Grins get off. So either way, it's a lot. You got to go up this road. I'm not really clear about the boundary. You can see it. It just stays pretty narrow if I can if I'm allowed to go on that side or not I don't know that's 30 core boundary not airborne that's where the airborne are supposed to land that's it's set um, and then the pink boys are gonna start here 30 core and start going I'm not sure how I'm gonna film this I probably will do one live at some point but I'm gonna maybe go a couple turns and make sure I've got got it remembered and I'm playing and then I can get on there and you guys can say like I oh, know you don't have it figured so that is what's going on here. Six turns. Uh, each turn is half a day. Uh, each hex is 600 meters. And each unit is essentially a company. So a company of tanks, a company of infantry. Uh, yeah. So there we go. I uh, start that uh, today. See ya.